The final video of this past year's rabbit season features just two hunts, but there were some memorable chases, really bad shooting, and the biggest running rabbit I've ever seen. The first hunt was a quick one after work. It was a really warm day and the dogs struggled at times with poor scenting conditions, but they kept the rabbits running long enough to get some shooting. Once this rabbit ran up the hollow, I moved into this landing. It's a pretty much the only route back to where the chase began, and the move paid off as the rabbit came right where I was waiting. I don't know how I missed it the first shot. It took more shots than it should have, but one rabbit was in the vest. There you go, Max. There you go. You got him. I led the dogs down to the stream for a short break and a quick drink, but then it was right back to chasing. Here I definitely rushed the first shot. I thought the rabbit would run up under the shed like they usually do, but instead he turned towards me and gave me another chance. I rushed that one. I thought it was turning to run away from me. I don't know what my problem was that day, but I seem to have at least one rabbit each year that no matter how many shots I get, I just can't connect with it. But I saw this rabbit cross the creek, so I headed over to try and get one more chance. Man, this rabbit should be dead. But I can't shoot today. All right, well, the sixth shot is the charm. I'm literally out of shells. Good girl, Mags. Good girl. Good girl. Here, Molly. Here, Molly. Molly, here. Molly, here. Here, Molly. 
Girl. Here, Molly. Here it is. Here it is, Molly. Molly, here. Here, Molly, here. Good girl. Good girls. Now we move on to our final hunt of the year. We hunted our thickest cover of the year, and the rabbits ran big. I think they're excited for the last Saturday of the season. Yeah. You excited? Come on. Come on. Come on. This chase has been going on forever. It started right over here and uh, ran out around this way. Came out around through here. It went about 250 yards away. And then it came in through here and then twisted out around in front of me. Never got to where I could see it. Um, they're back to 150 yards away again. But hopefully it'll come by us this time. It came through when the dogs came through on it. I could see them, but I didn't see the rabbit. But do they stay on it long enough to bring it back through? But they've been hounding away at this one for a while. So you can see here, 200 yards right now, um, and it is. Thick nasty, I'm standing in the most open spot I could find. And just the odds of one, you know, that is 200 yards away. Coming back through exactly where I'm standing in the 15, 20 yard radius I have of sight is pretty slim, but there's always hope. 270, that's a lot of distance between <laughs> Me and them, for one little rabbit to be hiding. 300, this is pushing, I mean, it probably is the biggest circle I've ever, ever seen a rabbit run. I'll be pretty amazed if we end up getting this rabbit. 310, 315, I mean, that is a long ways away. Usually 150 to 200, or the you know bigger running rabbits to run that far from the starting point but i'm standing right where this one started and it's now 320 yards away from here that's a lot of distance 440 450 or 450 yards all right well they got the 480 yards and i'm going to move closer to them so i'm getting concerned they're going to get on the road at this point so all right let's move i thought i saw it run across the road up there but i also just thought it was birds there were a bunch of birds flying around but the dogs are right where i thought i saw it this rabbit ran so big and so unpredictable that the chase was already over an hour and a half long the rabbit got past dad and i here and the dogs already had it 150 yards past us again so i took the opportunity to change the battery in my gopro 
but just then the rabbit did a 180 and ended up running 15 feet from me. Thankfully, I got my gun camera on and was able to capture the shot of the most memorable chase we've ever had. It's amazing that a rabbit can have so much space to run in such thick cover, yet we somehow managed to cross paths with it. All the credit goes to the dogs for keeping it running that long. I'm not sure if this is the same rabbit or not, but if it was, that was literally the most ridiculous chase they've ever had in 11 years. Um, it might be a rabbit that they just bumped out. I'm going to see if they make their way to it, but man, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of yards back and forth, and it ended up popping 10 steps from me. I'd show it, but it's a little gory. <laughs> Pretty much took its head off, but wow. Sounds like the one they were chasing. pick it up because I do not want them to grab this one. Here, Max. Good girl. Molly, here. Here it is, Molly. Molly, here. Molly, come here, Molly. Molly, come here. Here it is, girl. Good girl. Good girls. Good girls. Wasn't that the most ridiculous rabbit you've ever chased, huh? Not long after that chase concluded, they were right back on another rabbit. This time, Dad got a shot after just a 70 yard circle, but wasn't able to connect. Well, Dad just shot before I even got my camera on. He's not sure if he got it or not. Well, Dad did not get that rabbit. Oh, we'll hope for it on the second circle. It ran a very small circle the first time. So if it does the same thing, maybe it won't take too long to get it. Well, now we're back to another big running rabbit. When this one first busted out, it only ran like a 70 yard circle. Came right back and Dad had missed it. A few years ago we would have continued this hunt as there was plenty of ground to cover and plenty of rabbits to be chased, but the old girls were clearly tuckered out. There's no doubt in my mind they would have pushed on if I let them, but it was best for them to call it a hunt and ultimately the season. We should get another chance at it, but it's got a long way till we, till we get a shot here. Well, the dogs are literally 240 yards away and Dad could see them out in the field. The rabbit just busted out in the field and is coming back towards him. I'm sure it's not going to, Dad's only 40 yards from me, if that. I'm sure it's not going to run the field edge the whole way to him. But hopefully it's on its way back and one of us gets a shot here. Right as I turned the GoPro off, he shot. He said he did not get it. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled here. The rabbit then ran a big circle and he got another chance and he thought he missed it again but he shot right as the rabbit jumped towards the brush so he really couldn't tell. But like she's done so many times before, Maggie found the dead rabbit and made the retrieve.